Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Batman. But before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Also, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, and be sure to share with your friends. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So recently I was re-watching the Batman, and I noticed a few things. Well, mostly, it's kind of the whole storyline of the movie. When it comes to the Batman, he's basically spending his entire time trying to investigate this crime involving the Riddler. And while throughout the film, they try to depict it as he's a detective just trying to search out all these different facts and sorting, sorting the evidence, really. One thing I noticed, though, is that in the end, he didn't really do much of anything. In fact, even the Penguin found out who was responsible for everything or who the, who the target was the entire time behind this entire... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta clear my throat. So he's trying to find out who's doing, who's committing, like what the end game is for this entire criminal undertaking of the Riddler. And basically, from what I gathered, the Batman is just kind of floundering about. I mean, he's pinpointing all these different targets that ultimately serve no purpose. Even the Catwoman character was more of a more of a love interest than anything and although the role was played very well and the acting was spot on for all these characters in the end Batman it seems that what they're really trying to frame it frame the entire subject is or the, the entire subject matter of the movie kinda leans into the idea that Batman cannot be vengeance he can't be if he wants to be a good hero for Gotham he cannot be simply vengeance against the criminal underworld but rather he needs to focus on protecting the citizens of Gotham from the criminal element, basically becoming the hero he was supposed to be, or the one that his parents hoped he would be in their absence. And granted, they captured that very well towards the end. It, the entire movie kind of just leans in, tries to lean into the idea of Batman being a detective, and ultimately he sucks at it. And that that's the only problem I have with the entire movie is that from what I remember based on the the news updates regarding the character how they wanted to depict Batman they wanted him to be a good detective or simply solving some kind of mystery but the reality is he didn't he didn't do anything in fact the one who solved everything would be the rid I mean, the penguin penguin himself solved the crime and what the or I should say he solved who the target was and because of that, it's kind of odd, a little awkward, generally. It kind of unhinged the entire plot, or it removed the entire aspect of Batman's character. Batman is supposed to be the good detective, the best detective in the world, not simply the best hero. In fact, in fact, he was normally just a symbol of vengeance, and that's what he was meant to be. And so, when I was watching this movie... I mean, granted, I, mean, I have my own opinions regarding the movie. I'm not a huge fan of Batman to begin with, but I do like like his animated versions, and I do like... Um, well, I, it's hard to say what I enjoy the most when it comes to Batman. Just I prefer, I've always preferred the Kevin Conroy versions of Batman, the animated ones, and every time he's voiced one, every time he's voiced a different Batman... It's always, like, there's the Arkham game version. Arkham game version of Batman is definitely one of the more irritating, not irritating, sorry. One of the more interesting, I meant to say interesting. And generally, I don't know, it's just more, it's just more fun, more enter entertaining than any of the other ones I've seen in the movies. I didn't, I never enjoyed the Nolan-verse or Nolan-style movies. It's just not my cup of tea. I just... He is wearing hockey pads. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. In fact, his entire suit... I would say every suit that he's had after Batman Begins in, in the Nolan movies, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, that both of them were very much hockey pads and very, very much lacking in the classic Batman design of either gray and black or gray and blue. Doesn't matter. I prefer those two color designs. When there's a gray Kevlar suit that looks more tactical, in my opinion, because of the fact that, for me, if you're going to go into a fight as a ninja-type person, 
then you need mobility. And his suit of span uh, a tripolymer blend, whatever you want to call it, whatever kind of design, sci-fi comic book design you want to call it, the fact is that spandexy look gave him more mobility. When you have movies like the Batman v Superman movie, they depicted it very well. Personally, when I saw that one, I thought the design was perfect. It just lacked a good story, a good script, and good direction. But when it comes to his suit, it was perfect. And in fact, I would say the Bat Ben Affleck Batman suit was the best one. Even his fighting style was more on par with Batman. More, It was a mix of martial arts and brutality. It had the best look. And the best, it was the best style, best choreography. This one was more with the Batman movie. It was the Matt Reeves Batman movie. It had elements of Batman's fighting style, but it was more, it was just brutal. Very little martial arts. It didn't look, it just looked like a lot of punching and a lot of fast movements to make it appear as though he's doing martial arts. But I wouldn't say he was. I'd say he was just kind of fighting aimlessly or with the intention of taking down the bad guy. And that's great, but it doesn't reflect someone who went through a lot of training, just someone who's practiced the same fighting style of a boxer, really. Kind of fits more of a, either a mix of a boxer or an MMA fighter. I'd say more of an MMA fighter without different forms of martial arts. Um, kick, kickboxing. I'd say that would be the more apropos description. Maybe I used the wrong word there. Generally speaking, I, I, I thought there was a lot more, there was a lot to be desired, like, in this entire movie. It lacked the, the heart of a normal Batman movie, but I would say the end really captured Batman. The ending of the movie was the best part. They, put, they showed how the politicians were corrupt, they showed how the entire system was corrupt. But you still had Jim Gordon. The casting was, it could be, let, oh, one second. Okay, so it, it leaves plenty to be desired. But, generally speaking, the movie was okay. It wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst. And honestly, it's one of the more entertaining movies I've seen in a while. But you really have to want to watch something, like really want to watch something Batman related. If you really want to get into it. Because of the fact that if you're not a huge Batman fan, you might not enjoy it. Because it's not really a typical Batman movie, but it's also, it also still is to a degree. And story-wise, it's very slow-paced. Very, very slow-paced. And you have this irritating politician that keeps telling Bruce, you got to spend your money. Like, why aren't you doing anything? Your parents were philanthropists helping the needy and all that. And I get it. I believe in the importance of helping others. And they didn't capture Bruce's philanthropy yet. Maybe they intended to do it in part two where he evolves past his stay-at-home, do-nothing phase and he tries to actually do good in the presence of people. Being, bat being Bruce Wayne in public, a philanthropist, not simply a playboy. Being the playboy is not really that good when you're like 30 years old or in your late 30s. Generally speaking, it's never good. But, um... Yeah, anyway, probably went on a rant there, but generally, I think the movie's pretty good. I hope it does, like, I hope that they, if they do a Batman Part 2, The Batman Part 2, that they lean lean in more, in, <clears throat> I hope that they lean more into his heroic side on both, both as Bruce Wayne and as Batman. I want to see Bruce Wayne the philanthropist, not just the, um, the weirdo who stays at home all the time and does nothing. <clears throat> Generally speaking, I think that it, it could do well. I'm not, I'm not the best judge of Batman, generally. I just, I saw the movie and I wanted to talk about it. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and ring the, ring the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Also hit the thumbs up button if you did like this video. Oh, and please share with your friends. I'm trying to help this channel, I'm trying to get this channel to grow. And I hope to reach more people with it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye, and I'll see you next time.